Hello guys, welcome back to my channel again. So today's topic is how to set up a dedicated GoDaddy hosting, dedicated GoDaddy server with GoDaddy account. Okay, so this is my GoDaddy account and I have a economy 4GB dedicated servers. So let's click on a manage button. Uh, okay, sorry, this is the option button. So you can upgrade your server from this options. Okay, so let's click on the manage button. Okay. So to set up this server, so okay, let's wait. Okay, so now I have to enter my server name, username, password to access my server. So, so as you can see, uh, the first option is server name. So this is my server name, basically a system name. Uh, you can you can give any any server name. Uh, let me uh, let me enter my server name. Okay. So now now uh, after. Uh, after the server name you can you can choose any username for your server so this is the username for your uh, uh, windows server uh, dedicated server username okay and the password so you have to follow the security policies of the godaddy so let me enter a very very secure password for my server okay so after the password uh, you have to select the data center region so now you can uh, the north america is available only and the other other than north america is uh, coming soon so now the operating system you can choose the uh, centos 6 windows server 2008 r2 or windows server 2012 r2 so i am going with windows server 2012 r2 plus plex plex is the basically a hosting uh web hosting uh, panel basically so you can you can uh, control you all of your server ias server and all those things with from the web panel okay so it will take some time to configure the server and uh, to provide a dedicated ip or a public ip to my server uh, which no, name is uh, rl so this is basically okay so i have a 4 gb uh, ram and a 1 tb hard drive in my server and uh, uh, after after the configuration I can see my the processor and all those things uh, in my servers other uh, system properties so let's wait for a while uh, till then uh, I can I can fast forward this video so that we can we can meet uh, after the configurations of the server okay let's wait okay so my server is configured successfully and uh, now I can I can click on my server name and uh, the server IP has been uh, allocated and uh, status is live memory is 4 GB disk is uh, 1 TB so now let's click on my uh, server name to access more details and the panels to access my server so from this panel I can uh, this is this is my uh, actually a uh, uh, domain uh, server name uh, okay so and uh, these are the few services uh, i can let me close these uh, site backups available no new sql version is available okay so these are the additional features additional services of the godaddy so you can you can uh, avail these services by paying some bucks uh, to godaddy okay and uh, the first option is uh, status and uses so you can you can check the status or uh, uses of the ram and hard drive from uh, by clicking this section so it will take some time and it, you can you can see uh, my cpu is using uh, two percent and uh, ram and hard drive smtp relays uses okay so and the view details uh, it will show you some uh, ping monitor details uh, the network traffic and the ping informations of my server okay so this is the fresh server so not a uh, much information on analytics dashboards okay so this is the details and a plaques uh, so i already i already pick uh windows server 2012 with plaques so plaques will be available after some time here so we, i can use the back panel or back admin panel to control my servers okay so let me create some plaques information uh, okay so this is not a my server is not supporting https information so let's let's bypass this https uh, information okay detail go to the detail and go to the web page forcefully not recommended but uh, this is my first server so i can i can go uh, to the web page without any uh, 
hesitations basically okay so this is my domain name uh, i can i can configure my domain name here this is my ip username and password for my ba uh, plex bab host admin okay and this is the my backup services uh, i can avail the backup services there is no snapshot here right now i can i can create multiple snapshots here okay uh, snapshot is basically uh, whenever you are you are trying to uh, restore your server you can move to your uh, snapshots okay from the server access uh, you can you can change your password from the settings you can change the host name you can change the name of the server you can you can enable your admin access okay so by default uh, your admin uh, access is not uh, enabled uh, for your godaddy dedicated servers but uh, you can you can enable the your uh, godaddy services from there this is your godaddy help and uh, you can you can learn many things to configure with a good ready dedicated servers okay so uh, let me let me connect my server so go to the remote desktop services and uh, put my dedicated ip in this field so let me find my ip again so it is 192.169 you can find here this is my internal ip the upper one the lower one is uh, my dedicated ip i can i can connect my dedicated server with this ip so let me copy this okay and let me paste it in my server desktop connections so this is this is my uh, default user username so i have to change my username and uh, you can you can enter the username that you are you define during the configurations of your server you have to enter your very secure password uh, for your dedicated hostings okay so i am providing my password to connect my servers and uh, just click on yes this is just for the certification check okay so let's wait to connect my remote services of my dedicated servers okay my server is connected successfully let's wait to see my first desktop of my fully new configured 4gb dedicated server with 1tb hard drive okay it will take some time i think okay so this is my windows server 2012 r2 and uh, these are my uh, newly configured dedicated hosting server with Plex 12.3 pre-installed okay now I want to check my some system properties so let's go to the server information so now you can see Windows Server 2012 R2 Windows Server R2 standard processor is Xeon processor EPU version 3 3.2 0 gigahertz 3.09 gigahertz 4 gb ram system type 64 bit operating system okay so let's connect disconnect this uh, services to go ahead uh, we will discuss further uh, i hope this video will help you to configure your server thanks thanks for watching